Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the fourth axis rotary attachment for the Jinmitsu 4040 Pro CNC machine. This rotary axis is currently available to pre-order for $289 US dollars from the Saint Smart website. I have a link below down in the video description that will get you a discount on the rotary axis, the Jinmitsu 4040 Pro, or anything else from the Saint Smart online store. The Jinmitsu 4th axis rotary is really easy to set up. The headstock and the tailstock come already assembled on the base plate. The holes in the base plate will line up with the holes and threaded inserts in the MDF table of the 440 Pro. Just make sure when screwing the base plate down that you keep the rotary axis parallel to the gantry. Once you have the base plate mounted, you're ready to connect the two cables. Connect one end of the small ribbon cable to the stepper motor and the other end to the back of the 440 Pro controller box at the connection marked A axis. Then connect one end of the larger cable to the back of the offline controller and the other end to the front of the 440 Pro controller box at the connection marked controller. After connecting your computer to the rotary control panel, Open the candle G-code sender on your computer. Check to make sure that the $103 command values are equal to 177.777. If not, enter $103 equals 177.777 in the dialog box and click send. Let's take a look at some of the dimensions of the rotary axis module. First off, the maximum diameter of material you can fit in the chuck is 22 millimeters or 0.866 inches. The base plate has six pairs of mounting holes so you can adjust the tailstock to work best with your length of material and the maximum length for clamping is 120 millimeters or 4.724 inches with the tailstock mounted in the farthest holes. Keep in mind that even though you can turn a piece of round stock just under 50 millimeters or 1.968 inches, if you're using square stock and a program like VCAR Pro to create a square to round tool path, the square stock must, must be much less to have room to rotate. So to run larger diameter stock, you might need to use dowels or if you have a lathe like myself, you can take the square stock and turn it down to a small enough diameter to work with the fourth axis rotary module. I have a program that I've created using the wrapping gadget in VCAR Pro ready to run. So let's fire this thing up.
what do I think of this fourth axis rotary? Well, it's very well made. It's easy to operate with the offline controller, and I think it's a good accessory to have for your Jinmitsu 4040 Pro CNC machine. Just keep in mind that you're not going to make anything very big with it because of the less than 50 millimeter diameter and the 120 millimeter maximum length limitation. If you got anything out of this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to follow along with any future CNC content. Thanks for watching.